this great union is the major stakeholder in any developmental activity in the country. Just as the MC has said, the purpose of this visit are two. And the first one is the more reason why I emphasized we should be here. That is the courtesy and work visit, which have never been conducted since my function here in Kano. I have started, when I came, I started with government uh, agencies, ministries that are stakeholders, major stakeholders in uh, sensitization or information dissemination. However, on starting on other sectors of our stakeholders, the COVID-19 entered. Therefore, we have to suspend all courtesy and working visits to go back to COVID. Since I have an opportunity to be here today, I have to start with the courtesy. Mr. Chairman, sir, the, for the, the objective of National Orientation Agency is to create awareness, enlighten citizens, mobilize them to act in ways, in positive ways that could bring development into our state, into our country. Section 22 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria gives us the mandate to serve as the watchdog of the society. We are charged by the Constitution to hold government accountable to the people. So we are the such light given by the Constitution. So we work hand in hand uh, with the National Orientation Agency. The only thing that keeps on bugging us is the fact that uh, the NOA is not as the man said we used to know, due to poor funding, quality. it's a reality which we see everywhere. Even though you are coming with your account and go out with me. So I will use this opportunity to call the, uh, the authorities concerned to please uh, keep on supporting National Orientation Agency because sensitization plays a significant role and reorientation, especially with the realities of the changing world, that we have to do. And without funding, that is not possible. Well, okay, we know how you guys are struggling to meet up day in, uh, day out. Definitely, you need funding. In the past, during the Mamsa era, we know how this organization was well funded and you can feel it everywhere. Uh, now you can, you could hardly even feel the way you get to be realistic, but okay, it's there on ground, but you could hardly feel it because there is no funding and you need funding for you to strive and to hit the target. Uh, honestly speaking, there needs to be funding. Uh, state governments can compliment for their efforts by supporting you because we work hand in hand with you and we have a chunk of our members that are, are also uh, doing this great job of awareness creation. So, so we thank you most sincerely for the visit and uh, we appreciate you.